Lika here, and today my friend is going to read you a story, Sleeping Beauty. Okay. So, um, let's flip to the first page, and my friend here will tell you his marvelous story. And I will flip the page for her. Okay, you can start now, Rita. In a faraway land, they lived a king and queen. They had a grand palace, loving subjects, but they had no children. They longed for a baby. After many years, a lovely baby girl was born to them. The king and queen were overjoyed. They held a grand feast to celebrate the birth of their daughter. All the nobles and great ladies were invited to the feast. Next page, please. The king invited the six good fairies who lived in the kingdom, but he did not invite the evil fairy who also lived in his kingdom. The six fairies came for the feast, and each of them gave a special blessing to their little princess. She shall be beautiful, said the first fairy. She shall have a kind heart, the second fairy said. She will be wise and clever, said the third. Just after the six fairies had blessed the princess with the magic keys, there was a flash of lightning. The evil fairy who had not been invited stood before the king. I, too, have a special gift for your daughter, too, she told the king. When she is 50 years old, she will prick her finger on the spindle and drop down dead. Then she disappeared in a black cloud of smoke. A guest of horror went through the crowd of nobles and ladies. In the hall, the king and queen turned pale with grief. Okay. Just then, the second fairy came and touched the baby's forehead. Only oh, not know, she said. I cannot undo the curse, but let me at least soften it. Uh, the princess would not die, but only sleep for a hundred years. So that is the best I can do. As soon as the feast was over, the king ordered that all the spinning wheels and spindles in the kingdom were to be burned. He wanted to save his daughter from the curse of the wicked fairy. Meanwhile, the princess grew into a charming and clever girl. All the people in the kingdom loved and adored her for the beauty, wisdom, and kindness. On her 15th birthday, the king spent a splendid celebration. While everyone was busy preparing for the peace, the princess wondered about the castle. She saw a staircase winding upward. Where does this staircase lead to, I wonder? She climbed up the staircase till she came to a tiny room. There she saw an old woman spinning. What is that? She asked. This is a spinning wheel, replied the woman. I'm spinning straight. Oh, please let me try, begged the princess who had never been, who had never seen a spinning wheel in her life. Certainly, said the old woman, smiling wickedly. The princess sat down to spin. The moment she touched the splinter, she pricked her finger. And at once, she fell into a deep sleep. Um, may I take over now? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, then they say, When the king and queen saw their daughter sound asleep, they knew the fairy's curse had come true. Do not cry, my king, said the king. Queen, I mean. Remember, she is not dead. She is only sleeping. Then they carried the sleeping... Oh, where am I? Princess to her room and laid her tenderly on the bed. The whole kingdom was quiet. Everyone was filled with sorrow. Would you like to try the next page? Okay. When our daughter wakes up after about hundred years, 
we will all be gone. What should we do then? Said the king. The six baby heard this and felt sorry. She waved a wand. Soon the king and queen and all the people in the castle fell into a deep sleep. The fairy had cast a spell on the whole kingdom. Okay. A dense forest spread up and covered the castle completely. As time went by, girls began to go about the beautiful princess who lived trying to sleep in the castle and hide be behind the beams. People call her the sleepy beauty. Many brave prince tried to reach the castle to see her, but they could not find a way through the tiny bushes that covered the castle. A hundred years passed. One day, a handsome young prince was passing the enchanted kingdom, and old man told him about the sleeping beauty who lay in the castle. I must see her for myself, he said. As the prince began to cut his way to the fine, he, he found them putting to make a way for him. Soon he reached the castle and saw everyone fast asleep. And... <laughs> The prince reached the princess room and saw her lying on the bed. So this is the end. As soon as the princess awoke and the spell was broken, the king and queen rushed to see their daughter. The prince and the princess were married. Oh, hey, go away, petty liquor. There was a joy celebration and they live happily ever after. Okay, you can turn. Okay, here are some questions I would like to ask you now. Oh, okay. Uh, so, Petty Liko would you like to try? Okay, so hi guys. So, if you would like to answer these questions, please comment down below. In the comment section down below. So, what gave the, the evil fairy? So, what gave the, the evil fairy? Um, first question is what gift would the evil fairy, what gift did the evil fairy give the princess? Okay. Second question, what did the princess see in the tiny room in the castle? Third question, how did the sleeping beauty wake up? Okay, so I'll repeat my question. You can see. What gift did the evil fairy give the princess? Second question, what did the princess see in the tiny room? I mean, what, yeah, in the room in the castle. How did the sleeping beauty wake up? Well, you can comment all below the sections below, and you can tell me what questions are like. Question one, or maybe you, you will want to do all or something, but if you don't want, it's okay. I understand? So, that was my friend Rita. I hope you like it. Say bye, Rita. Bye. Okay, so, um, yeah. She would like to tell you some more things. So, okay. So, well, by the way, when you do these questions, you will need to fill in the blanks. But how would you fill in the blanks? Forgive me if I'm too talkative. But you must listen to the comment section below. Please see if you like my reading or if you like my reading or Petty Licker's reading. To spell Petty Licker name is P-E-T-T-Y. My name is Rita. R-I-T-A. Okay, that's a fake name. But I don't want anybody to know my name okay so uh, uh, there's this girl called Ashley here hang on uh particularly you can you call her Ashley no. Ashley please come hang on a minute oh. there's me every time as you do this it's of course I must Ashley no she's not coming Oh, she's in the toilet. Okay, never mind. Anyway, so are you going home now? Almost going home. Okay, so um, I just um, enjoy. Okay, bye.